In this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through building a bricklayer layout that will generate the content for the custom home page from the demo. That's the bricklayer custom layout. So you just a quick rundown, we have a tagline, a slider, custom area, portfolio, Twitter, a map, a widget area, and one containing a portfolio, a custom area containing testimonials, and a featured items portfolio. So we're going to start with a completely fresh layout. First thing we want to do is we're not going to display the title on this page. We're also going to select the full width blueprint. So you can see originally there was a sidebar, but now the content area and the featured area will both be full width. Now let's give our new layout a name. My customized homepage. And we'll go ahead and save that. Oh, I'm sorry. First we have to add some bricks. The first brick we'll be adding is a tagline to the feature area. We can give it some text. And we can give it some custom classes. This will be applied directly to the tagline, which, and this is just to space it out the way we want. And we're not going to include the Fleuron. So at this point, let's save this layout. Let's create a new page. This is the page that's actually going to represent our custom home page. So at this point, we've just, we're just using the default template. So if we publish the page and then view it, it just looks like a regular page. So the next step is to select our template, Bricklayer Custom Template. Then, in the Bricklayer meta box, we'll choose the layout that we just created, Sorry, which is My Customized Homepage. And there it is. All your other layouts will also show up here. So, now once we update this page and then refresh, we'll see this is what our layout looks like so far. Remember, we decided not to display the title, and we've just got our tagline. So the next thing we want to add in order to recreate our custom layout here is a slider. So we'll drag the slider brick into the feature area. We don't want to give it a title. This title would be displayed on the front end, so we don't want to do that right now. But we'll choose from whatever slider we, any of the sliders that we've created in the slider constructor which can be listed here. Any of those sliders, you can choose to display them for this brick. So we're going to go with the main slider, which is the one that was created for the home page. We'll save our layout and go refresh our page. And there's our slider. Next, we just want to add a horizontal rule to space out our content. And let's make it a mini. That'll do it for the feature area. Now in the content area, we want to add our actual main page content. So we take the page content brick and drag it into the content area. Now we'll save our layout and refresh our page. There's our horizontal rule, and here's our content. And we'll continue building this in the next tutorial. 